think what happens to me is I my body has like an autoimmune response to allergens, viruses, and what happens is I get an excruciating pain that radiates down from the back, right here on my neck, down to my left arm, manifests itself in my bicep, and then right here, um, I get this numbness in my hand, sometimes my right toes will curl, it's called neuritis, um, what was working for me was a, lar a large amount of CBD, which I can no longer afford. So I'm going to try to have to start growing my plants again and get my medical certification again. Um, I was holding off also on getting my medical certification um, so that when I go to get the firearms back um, and they run a Brady check on me, um, I can have a, a permit and a firearms license. Um, so... All things considered, um, my little friend um, has decided that she likes to come and live here sometimes, so she just hangs out and listens to me. Um, little chipmunk, doing company. I, um, I'm trying to deal with it the best I could, but today I opened up a box, and it must have been in a truck in about 110 degrees, baking, sealed with tape and cardboard. Um, inside of which, inside this box that I opened in front of a fan that's blowing other massive fans that are blowing horizontally into my face, um, when I opened it up, it was car seat covers made out of vinyl or some other plastic from China, from GMC or whatever, um, that had some kind of chemical, like a formaldehyde processing. So I opened the box, I breathed the shit in, it blows everywhere, and I threw it, I scanned it, threw it right back in another box, and threw it down the conveyor belt, which I wasn't supposed to do. I was supposed to report it, but I was just kind of so taken aback by this um, that I just, I, I just did what I thought was safe for everybody and put it back in the conveyor belt. Um, and um, I thought that maybe they'd be able to track it or something. So um, they said no. So unfortunately, we can't do anything. So then they had this Juneteenth celebration, which unfortunately I wasn't able to stick around and watch the dancing, which I really wanted to watch. So I didn't feel good. Um, and the pain is excruciating. It actually starts to feel like a, a itchy, squirmy kind of feeling inside my um, inside my arm. Um, this is one of the most uh, uncomfortable things having to deal with. It's like uh, whenever I, 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 I come into contact with some kind of allergen, my, my, uh, my body and the nerves um, get irritated. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a condition that um, has caused me a lot of extra stress. Um, yeah, so the Juneteenth celebration, it consisted of, you know, one hamburger with one chips of water and some high C powder. I said, can I have a hot one too? They said, no, it's either or. <laughs> I said, okay. Um, wow, you know, I mean, I, I'm putting my best foot forward at this company. Um, they are doing a ventilation system at the warehouse. They cranked up the AC today. So whether or not a little birdie hurt me, or they just cranked up the AC and the fan system had been improving, but the air quality was much better up until opening this box incident. Uh, so I've had to kind of um, stop myself here. It's uh, t time for me to, to uh, recuperate. Um, please, I anyone watching this video, I, I, I have a lot of nice artwork. I'm just gonna BernardBoshi.net, please put an order, put a comment. I'd like to hook you up with some art. Um, and if anybody has any cats, like free cats with shots, or like or, or, or like kittens, you know, with shots, um, put a comment there. I'll come and pick them up from you. This is this is what I'm trying to save. This is what I'm working hard for to.
to me, so, um, I talked to my friend who's a plumber today, um, they're gonna renovate the kitchen, bathroom, and shower, um, we're gonna get a pool, I still can't believe it, my mom and dad are in here. It's not talking to me. It's very painful sometimes. But, uh, you know, I think it'll get better. I feel relieved that I was able to save this. At the last couple of years, all the stress of having to go to the court and basically be humiliated, disrespected. needs a lot of work. Alright, thanks. That's what's going on with Ollie right now. Ollie's not, not too chipper. Um, I don't like dealing with the chronic pain thing. I, I gotta swim or something. It's, it's so annoying. Uh, I try my best like to do exercise. I was gonna document what I did this morning. Um, it's like this routine that I have to do, otherwise I, I feel disabled. <laughs> um, the shoulder doesn't pop in there. It's called Parsonage Turner Syndrome, brachialneuritis. If anyone watching this video has had experience with that, please put a comment. It's so rare. It's such a rare condition. It's like a syndrome. Um, I feel like mine has gotten better, but as it gets better, it goes better in stages. There's different stages and progressions where I feel like it's gotten better but as it I guess maybe as the nerve grows back um, with that comes its own pain its own strange kind of discomfort um, it used to be a lot more on my right side with our shoulder blade now it's more on the left side for, for about six months here but it was this right there now it's right here um, played a lot of baseball This hand has seen a lot of impact with the ground and other hard objects. And the nerve damage seems to have gotten worse in there. For documentary purposes, I'm just going to see what this looks like. Um, maybe later. Yeah, that's all, folks.